Okay, this is the, uh, the November 12th meeting of the Conway Select Board. We're being taped by Frontier Community Access Television for viewing later by our residents and the public. <coughs> Excuse me. First item on our agenda is the uh, the meeting minutes for uh, October the 28th. Has everybody reviewed the minutes? They look fine. What about October 15th? Oh. Um, yeah. Okay. I think we did those last last meeting. Did we did we approve the minutes of October fifteenth last meeting? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they're they're in they're in here for the uh, Okay. So how about those minutes of October twenty eighth, John? Yeah. You like those? Are they like okay? the, yes, yes, yes. Okay, any changes? All right, I'll make a motion that we approve those minutes. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Okay. Our right, next item on the agenda, we have a uh, vendor warrant for $49,604, a payroll warrant for $121,210, payroll deduction warrant of $30,661. Make a motion that we uh, approve those warrants. Do I have a second? Yes. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Meetings attended by select board members. Philip? Uh, last week was blissfully meeting, relatively meeting free. Um, just one strategy session, one management strategy session for an upcoming. Um, yeah. That was it. Then. That was it. Well, if I talk about the meetings I went to, you're going to jump in, so that's okay. So. Uh, there was a Frontier Capital Improvement Committee oh, meeting. Oh, yes, that's right. And you were there? Yes, yes. <laughs> so, that so, was two weeks ago. That's right. This is a two-week time frame two we're talking time. about. So you should give him credit for that one. And, uh, and we did have a Conway Capital Planning meeting. And which was good because we had relevant information to provide to Kimberly when, when she was here. Which we, If we hadn't been to that meeting. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. And uh, and we had a cable advisory meeting with Comcast, so coming along on our franchise. And Tom had a town academy meeting. I don't know whether you were there for that one. Not but, Thursday. But last Thursday, there was a town academy meeting. And unfortunately, conflicting with that was a Frontier Regional Planning Board meeting that Tom couldn't go to. So I went for the first half hour representing Conway. Well, for myself, too, but Tom is a the real guy there, or he always goes. Okay. You were missed. Usually. You were missed. Oh, thank you. <coughs> and, and it was mostly, it was, it, it, it was uh, Linda presenting uh, the, the, when I was there, and I had to leave, but it was Linda presenting the Rural Policy Commission uh, plan that, that FURCOG has put together, right. and, and we've all probably heard that in other venues uh, already, but yeah. It was it was really excellent and and they and they did a good job including areas other than Franklin County. I mean they did it for the three counties in Western Mass and also the Cape, and uh, right, yeah. And, so, and, that, and they really they did a good job including the Cape, mm -hmm. which is further from our normal purview. But yeah, well they were talking about all the rural areas. Yeah, so the Cape is considered considered rural. Um. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bob. Uh, okay. Uh, Tom and I today were at the um, the MMA uh, board meeting in in Boston, last meeting of the year before the annual meeting in January. Pretty good meeting today. Uh, a lot of good things to talk about. Uh, we also had the LGAC meeting with the uh, lieutenant governor, which uh, I'm surprised they kept that on schedule, but they did. So that was good. A lot of good information in both those meetings. So that's where both of us were here were today. Uh, next item, public, public comments. Do we have any public comments? Seeing none, we'll go to the next item on the agenda. Okay, old business. Um, yeah, we want to wait. In. We, we want to wait for uh, Walter on this, so uh, we'll skip that. Uh, do we want to say anything about the? Uh, uh, 
receive report on the feasibility of regional uh, human resources function right now? Uh, I think we can wait. You want to wait? Okay. What are we waiting for? On uh, I'm sorry? What are we waiting for? We're not waiting for anything. I just figured we could move ahead and, and, well, we and can bring do that. Terry up. The next item on the agenda, appoint Terry Walker as the Highway Department Clerk. Terry, come on up. Sit in the hot seat here, Terry. This one? Okay. How are you? Good, thank you. Good, good. Uh, did, uh, Ron, do you have anything you want to add to this conversation? No, I hope that you, you guys <laughs> do a pointer. Are, are you recommending Terry uh, for this position? So. Yes. And you're recommending Terry to this yeah, position? Yeah, Ron and I met with Terry um, okay. last week and are very impressed with her credentials and are feeling very lucky that she feels um, <clears throat> that she'd like to work for Conway. Okay. I don't know if you had a chance to look at her resume. I did, yes. That I sent very out. impressive. Very Thank impressive. You. And um, I, I look forward to... Um, Great, great things <coughs> in the future for the highway department. Carrie, do you have anything for us? Um, well, we're the hours. Um, I'd like to work a couple days a week if hired. Um, in the evenings, later in the evenings. You know, whatever, whatever you want to work out oh, with, with, with 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 Tom and, and oh, okay. uh, Ron. Sure. That, that's fine. You know, I have no no problem with that. Um, so. I would go to Tom with all my questions, or Darty. Yep, Tom or Ron. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he only comes up with problems. <laughs> <laughs> the occasional baked good though would help. But I know. Please. I know. I saw. I saw. I brought some little cupcakes. Yes. <laughs> this is always good. Our cupcakes friend, are always good. Yeah. So I saw. I saw. I noticed that's a baked good gut box right yeah. there. It was so good. Um, but I'm wondering if. Uh, you're interested in grants, like grant writing? We're always interested yes. in grants. Okay. Her. Because I brought in like nearly six million dollars in the last few years. Uh, that would be and great. <laughs> yeah. That would be well. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, that would be terrific. Yeah. Yes. Other questions for Terry? I would say a lot less than that would be terrific. But <laughs> yeah. I would say anything would be terrific. But one thing I want to you know, bring up before the board is I wait, I retired from municipal government in 2013. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, drew my retirement and I decided to work for other towns. So I waived it so we're not breaking any laws. Right. Okay. I, I waived it so that I could work for other towns because I was limited to 18.75 hours a right. week. Right. And I was going over that. Yeah. So now I don't draw my county retirement until I decide to retire the second time. Right. <laughs> Right. Yes, we have we have uh, somebody who's in that position actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so if you're inclined to vote in favor, uh, the motion should be for um, to appoint her uh, at the the rate we have now available is eighteen forty five an hour for eight hours a week. Okay. Is that that good with everybody? Yeah. Okay. I'll make a motion that we. Uh, um, as Tom said, for the for the present uh, wage scale, we uh, appoint Terry Walker as the clerk to the highway department for term ending uh, six thirty of two thousand twenty, and then we'll reappoint. All right. With gratitude and congratulations. Thank yes. Thank you. And, and, and well, that, that, yes, that would yes, be yes, a yes, second. Yes. 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 Second. Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. You're very welcome. Um, I'll give you an offer letter as soon as I can. Okay, that's fine. So this has happened and, pretty quickly, and, I take and, it. And, and, um, <laughs> that, and, and do you have a, a preferred start date or um, um, as, as soon as convenient? Or? Well, it'll have, it have to be after um, my son and his family are going to Bermuda. This Friday they'll be back next Wednesday. So after, okay. so after next Wednesday. Okay. Probably the following. No, whatever days um, Ron and I decide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever you work out. Okay. I'm not sure. Probably the the Monday after that. Okay, that sounds good. And I don't mind the commute because I've worked all over the state. I work in Plimpton, but I work out of my house as well. I Where's the commute from again? Plimpton from Tolland. It's two, two and a half hours. You live in Tolland. Yeah. yeah. 
And I'm where is Tollop? It's right on the border of Connecticut. The Connecticut, Connecticut border. Yeah. It used to be Massachusetts, I think. Or it used to be Connecticut. It used, that, to be it, it used to be Connecticut, then it became part of Massachusetts in the swap of like 1812 or something. Oh. We, we don't yes, have yes, to yeah. talk about it. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So, uh, <laughs> but, you know, I've worked in got Grant for Heath. You know, I've worked all over, you know, Mass. So, and the commute doesn't bother me at all. So. Terrific. Well, well done. That's it. But, but you're welcome to move to Conway anyway. It's a like lovely to town. Like <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. I'll be seeing you. Yeah. And there's your cupcakes. Oh, well, they will hand them out. Yeah, he might have those cupcakes. <laughs> They're from Mama Cakes in Westfield. Dang. <laughs> so my purse. And then oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice going, Ron. You're, you're, you're much appreciated. Thanks, Sherry. Thank you, Jerry. You're welcome. You found me by accident, so. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Now. You too. Take, Take care. care. Okay, next item for the highway department is uh, an easement issue. Um, Ron, you want to tell us what's going on with that? Um, there appears to have been some poles put right along the edge of the roadway. In which road? Mr. Mr. Osgood's property. Mr. Osgood's. Yes, I don't know if you saw any pictures. That, you, that, is, oh, that is the edge of the roadway. It is. There's huge issues for safety with just trying to plow it because if you're trying to keep the road open, the plow overhangs the edge of the Did road. Did he put these poles up? Yes. Now, I haven't spoken to him yet about this. I mean, I've had conversations oh, that's, that's in the past. This has been an issue mm. with Mr. Osgood for a number of years. I understand. I can that. I can remember it when I first came on the board and that was mm -hmm. eight years, nine years, eight and a half years ago. Well it's been an issue since yeah. I've been yeah. highway superintendent. And since it's been such a long term issue, I thought it would be best if the letter came from the board rather than Ron or me. And I think you're right. So uh, do you have a copy of the letter in your Yeah. Okay. I uh I, I, I mean, I, um, I, I had some questions about it. Just it didn't. Well, we can we can amend it, it as, as. What would you like to amend? Well, it's not that I'd like to amend it. I mean, I, I, I'm in sympathy with it. I, I think it might be okay to send that letter, but to actually do what that letter says might be problematic to some extent. Just to just to, to those those poles are in the road. I get that. I get that, but to take anybody's property without any kind of process or court process or uh, judicial process or legal process, just to take it. Um, well, we have that right. Do we? We're, it's within our right of way. It's, it's in the right of way. You would pull the poles of a and then just way. put them on his property. Okay. Well, It'd be like the same thing as I, it put poles across the road. It'd be the same thing. It's, it's in there. So I, I get that. Uh, Do you like speed bumps, maybe? So I, I, I get that it's in our right of way and that you have, you have the right to have it removed. What I'm questioning is whether you have the right to just do it without a judicial say-so or some kind of pro legal process. It's, it's, the, the, it, that's like someone that doesn't pay the rent for six months, you have the right to evict them, but that doesn't mean you can throw all their stuff out in the lawn without a judicial process. It's kind of But like, you're hindering public safety. Right, and so you can get before a judge different. right away, or what? I mean, I, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't know. I, that, that, th these are my thoughts on the issue. Did so, we ask uh, him to come in and, and happy speak? to check in with town council? Nothing's, nothing's been. I've not made any comments to him. I've not spoken to him. Okay. All right. I was. My intention was to. I wrote a letter, mm -hmm. and I was going to send it to him, but I brought it to Tom first because I know the history. This this so, has been ongoing. So for I'm, years. I'm okay sending the letter. Well, you know so, what? You, uh, why, you want to? Why don't we? Why don't we have Tom just talk to town council about it, and see what what uh, Jack has to say, and then we'll, we'll hold it off until then. Is that good with you? Yeah, I mean, okay. As long as we don't we'll we'll talk to time. to Jack tomorrow and, and see what he has to if, say. If it waits a couple of weeks, that would be okay. Well, we, I mean, they've been there for. We we have a we have a meeting next week. We can sign off on this. If, okay. If, you know, 
council clears it. Is that good? Yep. Okay. I mean, I would think we should invite him in to talk to him. Um, he, he may not come, but um, he probably would come. <laughs> I, I, I think he, we should try try the letter first. Okay, but he may have a you know a reason of why he. Yeah, we're cutting into his lawn. That's what his reason is. But it's not his lawn. But he, well, it's well, his lawn. But we have a right of way over it, and we need that for snow. It's and not like he's lacking in lawn space either. You no, know, don't understand Ralph. I, yeah. I don't know Ralph. No. You okay. Don't. Yeah. It, it, it would be better if we send the letter first. Okay. okay. Because um, just yeah, just yeah, it would be better if we do that. It won't be done. I'll, I'm pretty sure that once he gets a letter, things are going to happen. Escalate yes, quickly. Escalate. Not that he has any right, but he in he perceives the right away as something different than what it is. So sometimes it might be useful for a court process in such an instance. It might be useful to have a letter come from town council. Yes. However, we want to work this out. Let's talk to him first, and then we'll, then we'll figure out what we want yeah, to do. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Thank so we'll we'll uh, we'll table uh, hmm. sending that. Okay. Until we talk to town council. Uh, okay. Let's go back up to old business. Highway facility committee update on the highway shed construction and maintenance building costs. Walter. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Hi. How are we doing? Well, have you updated them? Uh, no, no, we, we just started. Start. No, oh, we were talking we waited something for different. You. Yes. Oh. Well, <coughs> Ron's excavating was Jim more. Dandy, and they were able to pour the slab with no hitches at all. It's, it's been finished now for over a week. Yeah. Temperatures are good? Well, temperatures stay on good, but they were, we just but, made it. it they, they're okay. We were lucky, and as a safety, they added a um, uh, an accelerant. Not chloride, but drying new accelerant. and modern thing that um, uh, doesn't need 28 days to cure. Well, it still does, but the, it won't. The cold won't affect okay. it. Okay, yeah, that's right. And in fact, um, each core had a cylinder, test cylinder made, or several of them made, and some of them already c have come back from the lab, and uh, they're exceeding expectations. So. So what's the what's the test for the seven How many eight, pounds? Um, strength? Four strength thousand. Test. Four thousand? Four thousand. That should be one plenty. came back as five thousand. One came back the lowest one came back at thirty six hundred, yeah, yeah. something like that, at seven days. Yeah. Three thousand should be fine, right? Yeah. No, we're uh, it's supposed to be four thousand. Okay. Well, in the end. But we're way up because that's after twenty eight days. Right. So right. seven days, if we're where we are, we're gonna be Probably in the five to six thousand pound range right. when they're done, which is excellent for us. Yeah, that's fine. Surface looks good, and uh, and, the, and the graded. You got them grading down to the the drains. Two, two drains. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They poured eight different sections: uh, drain here, drain here, and then four pieces of pie around each drain. Oh, each one was that's poured good. Okay. individually to get that hmm. that slope. They were tongue and groove together. And in some cases, steel pins as dowels went in there. So, yeah, no, we think they did a okay. terrific job. And actually, it worked out because originally they were talking doing two pours, half right. and half. Yeah. But then they did it this way, which actually works out better because now the expansion joints are built into the when they poured it. They already have now. They have their. They don't have to go in and cut the concrete. To, hmm. Yeah. So now they have joints in between each right. pour, which okay. are all tied together, like you said, tongue and groove and rebar, holding them together. So Correct. there was there was one hitch that um, uh, Kurtz took care of on their. They were right on it immediately <laughs> after they poured the first piece of pie. There were some bubbles on the surface because they had used air and training concrete, which uh, Vreeland put in the spec, repeating the spec from Reinhardt. And it takes special technique, troweling technique, to do that. So I think Kurtz 
one hand didn't know what the other was doing. They ordered this concrete, but the guy finishing it with the trowel didn't know that it was air entrained. Um, and there's apparently no advantage to air entrained. Mm. So, in any event, they cut a section out, replaced it. And so right. that worked out fine. And it was a it was a nice um, confidence booster in Kurtz because they jumped right on it. We didn't have to ask them to do anything at all. Did it. Right. That was okay. Nice. So we're, we're, we're on schedule. Yes. Copies of them. Sure. Um, yeah, I'd say we're, we're on schedule. The building is being uh, uh, constructed right now, being mm -hmm. manufactured. Well, I got an update today. You got an update? Okay. Yeah, they're, it's hopefully going to either be there Friday or Monday. And they're going to start putting it up. Ooh. Right. Now that's the so We're ahead of schedule. Okay. That's what. So they don't have there. to wait the whole twenty-eight days. It's not to easy. build on. No. Mm. No. No. Great. That's why it's going to be warm next week, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I think it will be. It will be forty warm degrees. Yes. Yeah. Ron. Ron arranged it. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, the rest for a month while they're building. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great news. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's wonderful. Okay. Oh, that's a nice surprise. Um, yeah, things are going good up I mean, down there. There will be actually things to look at uh, for the special town meeting. I mean, okay. Some okay. Yeah, that's great. In the era. So, before you pass the hat again, you can show them what the hat got the first time. That's great. Yeah, right. So this is what is the result of our meeting um, last night. Uh, with Dave Vreeland. Okay. And, uh, so, um, because I thought the meeting was six, I didn't get time to put in the pledge factor number eight other down at okay. the bottom. Right. Um, I believe what we have there, uh, as we added up last night, was one million four hundred and thirty three or thirty five thousand um, and just to be a little sure we went to one million four fifty okay so you have about a seventeen thousand budget um, again the site work will be done by the town and Ron says there's plenty of uh, contingency yes in and that then making sure that we I mean, we're not shortchanged any. You know, I mean, I'm sure. You know, we have enough money to do what we need to do there. For special town meeting, you have an est Could you do an estimate of how much you saved by you doing it, as opposed to hiring it out? Uh, yeah, we. It, I mean, we it probably just could. Feels like a good thing to mm -hmm. say. You know, it's a whole list of items that go on that. So that's definitely yeah. part of it. Yeah. The. Uh, you know, the. The big surprise there is, well, Ron can explain it better than I can, but the original design called for moving 1,300 yards of material. Oh, blasted material. So they were planning on blasting 1,300 yards of uh, rock. We moved over 6,000 yards. So that would have been a huge surprise yeah. when they started doing it because Everything's done off amounts. Yeah, no in the documents, it called so much per yard extra. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So extra. There would have been a big extra for that. But I think we could calculate that. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure we can. I don't know if I'm going to have, you know, time is tight, and I understand that it would be a good thing. <laughs> but I don't want to give something that I haven't. Well, let me try. Yeah, I mean, we got a what month? When is it? December what? It's yeah, it's a good question. Oh, you don't know when the special town meeting is yet? Yeah. He scheduled it, didn't he? Uh, no, no, that's one of the things we're doing tonight. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. We never the way the comparative risks of not having our town meet moderator versus yeah. having our town moderator. Um, well, anyway, back to this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, 
So the first number, 610,000, that's from Kurtz. They've worked hand in hand with Breland and we're, we're thinking that number's probably gonna be pretty darn close. Well, to put it this way, the number they gave us last time for the storage building, mm -hmm. they were $100,000 under when we got it. Mm. True. True. Okay. You know, yeah. so Please I'm remember to bring that up too. Huh? Please remember to bring that oh, up. Yeah, yeah. So my point is though, that they're obviously figuring a high dollar amount mm -hmm. so that we don't end up short. I believe we're safe here. So yes. Okay. Next to say. Um, now the three sub-bid categories could go out the window altogether if some or all of them uh, get done by Franklin uh, Technical School. Ken Wilmette's talking to them and apparently there's some enthusiasm for mm -hmm. doing at least some of this work, which would be, um, well, it, would, it would be a little more time consuming, but it would be a whole lot cheaper. And, and we can do that. Well, if, Andrea, it, if, it, if it comes in, I'm sorry? You go ahead. I was going to say that from a procurement point of view, mm -hmm. we can do that according to Andrea Woods. Yeah. Okay. It's Fine. been done in other towns. Okay. That's correct. Well, they just have to yeah. get approval from Boston. Okay. Yeah. Because it's a commercial, considered a commercial job. And okay. they don't want to be stepping on union's toes. Right. They, they got them doing ha Habitat for Humanity homes all over the county, though, so... That's yeah, but are they in the union? Yeah, that's, but it didn't seem like that, that was going to be an issue. They just have to go to Boston and that's... Okay. Well, yeah, if Andrea knows yeah. that that's okay, then, then it's okay. Yeah. yeah. She said it was okay. Right. So, um, we have two sets of numbers here. The ones right after WV Engineering are from Richard Parks the value engineer um, who is in the process, he's not finished these designs, but he pushed ahead the estimating ahead of the designs. Um, and we're kind of surprised they're as low as they are. And it was Ron's idea and it was um, agreed upon by everybody at the committee meeting last night, including Dave Reeland, that we should probably go with higher numbers. So, for lack of any other numbers, we picked the numbers of the actual sub bids, the low bidder sub bids from the last time around. And that's what you see in the right hand column, and that's what we okay. added. Um, we but the only big one is that HVAC number. That, that's the. Well, that's, that's the big variance. Right. And and it, I'm a little less worried about that one because right, you talked the system about that. has changed a lot. Yeah, you talked about that. He gave us preliminary drawings last night, and you can see it's, it's quite simplified. Um, uh, so, um, hmm. And there's also, in the HVAC, there is work that the highway department may be able to do, like laying the tubing for the gradient heat and stuff. You don't okay. need a license for that, for heating from what Ken was telling us. Okay. Um, right. So that can be done by anybody, so we might be able to save a fair chunk of change here mm. for labor not having to hire somebody to do that. Okay. Now we made, I made, uh, a deal with um, Dave Reeland and Richard Parks on number four, the plumbing. The contract that you signed was just for HVAC and electrical. Dave was going to have a hard time getting the plumbing done. So, Parks' fee was, um, is, he proposed, was it 3000 I think? Yes, 3000 Yeah, 3000 Yep. So, Dave and I agreed to split it. It's not part of the original contract. I don't think we need a contract because he's already done most of it. Okay. So he'll bill us, we'll pay him mm -hmm. the 15 or somehow mm -hmm. I thought it was 1800 bucks. Yeah, I think it was $3,600. Yeah. You read for the 36, total. so it's 18, yeah. yeah. So that got this thing done sooner, better. And uh, as with the other two categories, I think we're going to save more than 
Richard Park speak. So okay. we're pretty pleased with that. So that's where we are right here. Okay, so special town meeting, we're going to present the, uh, the 1450. Okay. And we're, we're, well, we're thinking still, that's, that's an upper upper end. Yep. Right. Okay. And it's, we're still at, if you combine both buildings, we're still, we're no more than what we were asking for six years ago. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will just note that um, the contingency here, um, I'd be more comfortable with having that at 10%. But in any case, 75.5 is not 8%. Um, the, the, the lowest it comes in at is uh, 98,176. That's taking out the um, 120,000 site work provided by the town. If, yeah, you, so if you also take out the general conditions, it only brings it down to 91. So. Um, and that's using the 8%, so I, I'd like to see a higher contingency number. Um, well, it may well be 10 when, when, have you, did you add all these up? Yeah. Yeah, I added them up, sep I added them all together, I added them up without the 120, I added them up without the 120 and the 80, and the lowest I got for 8% was 91,000. Um, so, so what it, was it done off the 610? So, so it, it should at least. Um, and what did you? Oh, get? is that just off the six ten? Yes, pretty sure that's what he so said. So you're not having any contingency for the. They're built in to all of those. He has a contingency in three, four, and five, and Ron has a contingency in oh. one. That makes sense. Okay. So, so, where are the contingencies included? They are included in each one. Ron has... Then why is there a number seven? For the building. For the 610. But that don't even come out right. I believe. And so how about number six? General conditions? Is that... So the condition... So the contingency is built in to the HVAC, plumbing, and electrical. And the site work. Well, that is provided by the town, so we, <coughs> we don't need to, unless we need to budget separately for that. All right, we can, we can work out the detail yeah. numbers, numbers later. But we're looking at we're looking at about uh, fourteen fifty mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And that number when is our when is our warrant closed, Tom? Um, Eighteenth. I am proposing that you close it um, next Monday. Okay. So we need a a certain number, right? If this isn't going to be the certain number, yeah. or do you, or is this going to be the certain number? What about a, are we borrowing anything? Are we What's the? We would borrow scale? everything but the three hundred and some thousand left in the stabilization fund. And that's a note. That's the one-year note, or how, how? What's the? What's the borrowing met? I mean, that's. Um, no, we. Uh, Jan and I worked out various options for that last time and presented the the most likely option. So we would have to be working on that as well. So there would be more on that on Monday before we vote on it? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, but I'm guessing it would be something like 1.2, 1.2 million. We were asking last time to borrow 1.9 million. All right. So it's coming down 700,000. Though the one before was for both buildings. So. Yeah. Okay, any other questions for Walter or Ron? Okay. Gentlemen, thank you for okay. all your hard thank work. You. Um, so you'll know tomorrow the date of the meeting? That's when you decided tonight? Um, I'm not an oracle, but I am hoping that this whole board what, decides. What's your date. recommendation on the, on the uh, date? 
Uh, mine is uh, Monday, December 8th. Uh, is, is that a Monday? Um, yes. No. No. When no. is it? Ninth. Ninth. The ninth. Um, well, you had given us something and, that said when when our when our moderator is not available. Do we have any dates when he is available? He would be available the second or after the sixteenth. Okay, not we including can't. the sixteenth. We can't. Yeah, and we can't, and, and do, we can't do it the second if we close the warrant on Monday because there's not enough time to post. Mm -hmm. Right. So it has to be the ninth. If we have it on a Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. The only other question I have is the. Debt exclusion vote that would have to happen. Do you know how long a that? Ballot vote. Do you know how long that would be before that happened? Would that happen that week of the town meeting? It's a two-step process. Yeah, there's town uh, meeting, and then there's a then there's no, ballot. No, normal like because yeah. with regular town meeting, when you have the ballot vote, that's the Thursday after. Right. Um, I, we would have to work that out with the town clerk. I'm just, and my suggestion would be not to let it get too far away from No, we, we'd want to have it, we'd want to have it. As soon as, as soon as possible, yeah. but we have to work that out with the town clerk. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was my only yeah. thought on that. Okay. You know, just, that one's just as important as town meeting. <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. More so because historically, yeah. these things get shot down at the ballot box more than it that's only a leading um, majority majority vote, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, gentlemen. Thank, thank you for coming in. Your next meeting, um, I'll tidy up these numbers, confirm the contingencies on all the individual pieces. Okay. I yeah, thought I had an um, hour to <laughs> more to work on this. Um, we will meet up sooner than that for for Jan and me to work out how the financing is going to work tomorrow. So as soon as you can, okay. that'd be great. All right. Great. Good. Cool. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Walter. Sure. Thank Thanks you. for coming. <laughs> this is this immense amount of data that you want everyone, when they go to vote on it, to have them know. Oh. Well, we'll, we'll have time to yeah. to uh, do that. OK, uh, next the item. The main thing is what actually goes in the warrant. Next Thank item on our agenda yeah. is to um, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, to sign a license for uh, the annual licensing of the Conway Inn. Are there any questions about the licenses we give to the Conway Inn? No, I'll move, to sign, I'll move to sign the license. <laughs> you will? Yes, yes, absolutely. You don't have any questions? No, not at all. That's good. Okay. I'll second. second that. All right. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, I can talk a little bit about the human resources report if you like as well now as soon as, as soon as we sign this license yeah. we want to make sure that she has this license oh this absolutely most this important is important license in town this is the, yeah, kind of the only important license in town <laughs> okay there well go. there's bakers too oh do we oh, have the back page yeah. stuff tom do you want to talk about the um feasibility study of the yeah. regional human resources function um, I would be happy to. As you know, we got a Commonwealth Community Compact Grant yep. um, to look at the possibility. I originally was thinking of submitting it under the regionalization category because they they like that so much, but it turns out that that's actually a much more competitive category, so we just did it under best practices, got the grant, um, hired the recently retired uh, Human Resources Director of Amherst, right, yep. who was uh, scouting for work, and she wrote up um, a report which got great kudos from the personnel committee. Okay. Um, and who who recommend going forward? They 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 voted to recommend um, that that the select board accept the recommendation and. Um, work with the other three towns of the Frontier District to see whether or not they would be interested in having a shared human resources staff person. Um, that would be something that would be proposed at the spring town meeting or whenever it got done. Do you know what they have now? Do they, do they all have a, 
a, re a human resources person? Is it all part of the administrator's job? It is all town? part of the town administrator's job. Now. Yes. So no one, including no, the school, no, has a no dedicated one. human resources person. Uh, but the school thinks that they're better off, you know, doing it on their own, which mm -hmm. there's a lot of good reason behind that. Yep. Um, my, my original feeling was, well, if no one has anything, anything would be better than nothing. So, mm -hmm. but but I, I think they, that uh, the superintendent may be moving towards uh, increasing that capacity within Frontier as well. But it's a touchy subject. They're very sensitive to the cost of administration as a, as a percentage of the total costs, and they're very um, reluctant to add administrative capability. And you, when you when, want to when, see the cost of administration, you just wait for something to go wrong. Oh, uh, it's happened reasons. already. It's happened already. <laughs> so. All right, so the, the, the personnel committee is recommending um, that we approve uh, this report from um, Deborah Radway. Uh, yes, including um, moving forward as possible with the other towns in the Frontier District to create a part-time position, uh, a human resources position. Yeah, I thought the report was unpersuasive. Sorry. Um, and I, do, when when uh, go, going in to the other four towns when. Um, when we would get 10 or 15 percent of the person uh, just doesn't work for us. We've seen that over and over again with Frontier when that's the percentage of what we're supposed to get with IT and what we're supposed to get with uh, building maintenance th through the Conway Grammar School and the Union 38 relationship. And what in reality what that means is when they do one project, the underground tank or something like that, that chews up all their time for the year. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so all right, so, so what, what's your concern? Well, this, this was based on a review of the, the needs as surveyed by the towns. Um, yeah, nobody asked me. I don't know. I, th I, I think the, this, the, the way that the grant was set up, it was set up so that this, would be, this was a preordained outcome. I remember the application of it. There was no way that this person was writing something saying these services are not needed. Well, no, the services are definitely needed. Um, Human resources. Um, I think that they, that I think that we're uh, we're we're doing okay as is. Um, I, I think we're 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 hanging on by our fingernails as far as human resources is concerned. Um, when you look at the scope of the work that they intend that the the person claims is net that the author claims is necessary, um, I, I don't I, I don't see that as a you know, if this, having somebody at an annual effective rate of close to $100,000 uh, to do personnel manuals, no thanks. Um, I'm, on the, I'm on the MMA Personnel Policy Committee, and, and I go away from those meetings thanking God that we are a small town without some of the problems that some of these yep. uh, towns have. Um, and their intricate and complicated personnel problems, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that, uh, you know, human resources has become a very complex situation. Always has been. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, our personnel committee, we have two pretty good labor attorneys on the personnel committee. Um, well, one now. Oh, Bob's no longer on. As, uh, he's also no. He was a representative from the finance committee. Okay, okay, but um, you know, we have a personnel committee recommendation of this. Uh, I would I would certainly be inclined to to back their recommendation. Even more, I think we're lucky that we had Tom who was pushing for this that made all that happen, and we won't have Tom forever. And that, that scares me even more. Uh, mm -hmm. um, and, and, and certainly, you know, I think uh, uh, regionalizing this will, will help us. We'll get some expertise for less money than having somebody full time in this situation. You know. So I, I, think it's, I think it's a plus. I think it's a lot better than not having any of that expertise 
um, that we can tap into. And, you know, you mentioned the personnel manual said is one out of 16 areas that the person would be responsible for. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I um, don't think it's worth the money. Don't know what it would really cost us, but don't don't. But if it costs us anything, uh, any, uh, yeah, that's a good question. Is what it would cost us? What it, you know, what it would cost us if if we didn't have, okay, that kind of expertise costs us a lot more. Yeah, yeah um, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I I'm not aware of any particular problem that we have had in this town that. Um, that, that a, a dedicated human resources person would have prevented in the past couple of years. So I, I don't well, you know, don't, don't forget, we don't know what we don't know. Yeah, we do. You know, that's, that, that's, that's what this protects, primarily. And uh, we are given a very specific cost of what these specific tasks would cost. Yeah, and so the, 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 the only of those options, ha if Frontier was interested in going in, I could see doing this um, then, but when it's just the four towns, and when you know that the person is really a Deerfield Sunderland employee um, with occasional nods in the general direction of Waitley and Conway. Uh, well, okay, this, this has to be approved by all four towns. Yeah. We're, we're, we're recommending this to, to be a regional, um, you know, human resources situation. So all four towns have to agree to it. Right. Right. That's a good question, too. I don't know if that's true, whether just three could. Don't know. Well, you know, certainly if one didn't and we decided to go with just three, we could do that, too. But you know we're doing this because we we have regionalized uh, relationships with with those other three towns through the school. You know. Yeah. The uh, Franklin Regional Council of Governments looked at what it would look like to provide a human resources function for the Franklin region. Okay. Um, and decided for many reasons that um, that was not something that they wanted to take on. There were, there were too many towns with too many distinct areas of concern and the kind of work that would have to be done from very high to very low level, um, uh, it, 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 you would not find um, a single person to be able to take care of that entire region. And uh, it began to look um, like a, more of a department <laughs> than, than, a, than a person. This, this is uh, one of the things I, sp I specifically asked for was, you know, what is the amount of hours that would that it would take to do the tasks that need to be done. And so for the four towns, that came out as, for these particular four towns, that came out as a half-time position. Um, and that's, again, in here based on the, the recommended level of staffing per number of employees. So I saw that. So that's 20 hours per week. And then of that, we would get 15% based on population, um, which is two and a half hours a week, um, three hours a week, yeah, two and a half hours a week. So that, three, 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 yeah, yeah. Three. yeah. 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 Um, and that's, but a lot of the work is going to be common among all four towns. That's true. If, if that's all, true. But if all we need yeah. is three hours a week, then we really don't need it. I'm sorry. Um, well, we don't, we'd also but, only be paying 15% of the cost. Yeah. And, And, they get, and, and for that, they'll pick up a phone for, every one, for us once every month. <coughs> Just, 
Well, you regional know, regional schmegional. I'm done with. I, I don't know. We, we, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> we got the grant. We we got yeah. the report. Yeah. Uh, we have the recommendation of the personnel committee. Who thought it was okay. an excellent report? Well, of course. Who thought it was an excellent report? Of course. Um, you know, um, I, I think we've got to give it a chance. I don't. I don't think we have to. Uh, we should stand uh, in the way of it, considering all that's happened before now. In terms of getting this to us, um, yeah, I, I, I don't think we owe that process anything, um, uh, any, any future commitment. Um, uh, you know, I'm glad. I'm glad. I, you know, I, I, I'm glad that the report was looked at. I'm glad a consultant was engaged. I'm glad the grant was successful. Um, I think. I think Deerfield could use it. You're right. <laughs> so what is uh, the vote we need to take? Yeah. I mean, we could receive the report, but is there... Well, and, and the, the personnel committee recommended that the select board move forward in contacting other towns to see if they were interested. Mm -hmm. So we're accepting the report, and we're going to move forward with regionalization with uh, Deerfield, Sunderland, and Waitley. That's essentially what we're doing here. That's not what I heard. Well, we're going to ask if, yeah, if they right. want to move forward. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. I mean, eventually we'll have to vote on whether we want to do this. But right now we're receiving the report and talking to the other towns. Yeah. So if you did that, I would call them up and say our select board voted to approve, if it was two to one or whatever. Um, are you interested? But it's going to make it, we're going to have to vote on it again. So then we, we say, well, all we, the other towns will have to do it. And then pe people will have to come together in some kind of a group to hash out the details of what it looks like. We, then it comes back to the we, town. We, we owe this a vote. We owe this process a vote, as I see it. I'm okay voting. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, I, so I'll make a motion that we accept the report from um, the consultant for the Human Resources um, Regional Feasibility Study, uh, and that we contact Deerfield, Sunderland, and Waitley um, to see if they would want to um, do a regional uh, human resources person. Okay. Is everybody happy with that? Yeah. So I would vote no to that, but I, I understand exactly what you so said. So I'll second Okay. It. You will second. You're going to vote no. I'll You're vote yes. Vote yes. I'll vote yes. Okay. I don't think we, anyone would have changed their mind if we talked to him for another 10 minutes. No. I, um. <laughs> so, but it's fine. Okay, next item is the special town meeting draft warrant. Tom? Yes. You sent us a couple. Was this the latest one? Uh, it should be. Uh, what's the uh, watermark on it? 11 4, 11 4. Last Monday. Um, what? Uh, I'm looking for a copy of the warrant, the draft warrant. Uh, um, first couple of items, the town clerk, the first three items came from the town clerk. She wants to. <coughs> And she's basically increasing fees, correct? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. it's pretty simple, pretty modest, but uh, more in line with what other towns are doing. Okay. Uh, then there, uh, the third one is actually changing the the uh, bylaw um, to make it consistent with our non-criminal disposition and increasing the fines according to the non-criminal disposition. Uh, by a lot of we have. So are we talking about these like, are you just, what's, 
are we discussing how we feel about these, or what's the what, what are we doing with these right now? Uh, you can make recommendations on any of these at any time, if you like. I, well, I, if I can just go go sure. through them first, so you can sort of see what you want to deal with now, and and you know you have the whole next meeting to deal with it as well. Um, Article four is from the assessors. Um, they're checking to see if this language is sufficient. Uh, we believe it is, because uh, we do have to adopt that uh, chapter and section. Uh, and they have any number of reasons they're willing to present that this is a, a good thing for the town. Uh, mainly that it, it puts it in line with the fiscal year, which makes it uh, consistent with the tax bills. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, and the payment in lieu of taxes, that, that still needs um, verbiage that I'm hoping to get really soon. How about, how about a little uh, paragraph that has the actual amounts? Yes, in yes. Um, th uh, that's in it too. And we, and, we, and we do have that. Right. Um, I'll just, uh, um, and I mean, even if we didn't have it, we'd have it as a handout. So um, it depends on, on what the proper um, uh, form is for this. Uh, the next one's the Cemetery Commission. You've been over that with uh, Peter and asked me to put it on. Yeah. Uh, waiting for Malcolm to give me some money. I think there were a couple of projects. I think one of them is historic preservation. I think the other one is not. Um, okay. uh, I am asking for more money for the assistant to the town administrator. Uh, this is based partly on uh, mostly, um, the actual hours are based on the uh, possibility of uh, the town um, picking up the function of a town newsletter in case um, the current town newsletter um, does not move forward. Mm -hmm. okay. And, uh, you know, you're the, the understanding could be contingent on that, um, but this, that's, this is how much we figured picking up that okay. task would be. Um, I'll also mention that uh, Lisa has expressed interest in human resources issues, and if we wanted her to take up some of those 16 tasks that are outlined in the report and, other, uh, and the other towns didn't want to go for the regional one, um, we could uh, have her do that as well. Okay. Uh, we've already done some of that, uh, but but this would be much more focused. Um, the mowing the path mm. on the South River Meadow. This was a, a miscommunication during the last town meeting, uh, and I will just in general take responsibility for all miscommunication. What was the uh, miscommunication? Uh, who, whose budget it would be in and how it would get there. And um, Ron came up with the figure, but um, it was supposed to be included in the Open Space Committee budget. And somehow between Ron and me and the Open Space Committee, it wasn't in their budget. Ron came up with the figure, but didn't put it in his budget for mowing. He didn't want his budget to go up. But it was bid so, out too, wasn't it? I mean, right? It was yeah. part of the contract that he mm -hmm. that he yeah. Yeah, that he gave. So that said, we need money to pay for the services. <coughs> so that's um, and that, that this this amount would pay for all of twenty twenty. Right. Um, yeah. uh, the fifteen hundred is for is uh, for the assistant to boards, committees, and commissions. We've had uh, at least one request for services that right now we don't have any money for. 
Um, in fiscal year 21, it's my intention to, it, it was, it was a, a, a clunky way that I did it at first, and it was just to find out how many actual hours were being worked. Uh, but for next year, I think um, all of the funds for that should be in one pot. Right now, they're in three different pots. Mm -hmm. and, and they should be brought in under the uh, town office budget. Okay. Um, this is in case somebody else wants her to take minutes and, and she's able to, which we've had at least one request for. Um, oh, Community Preservation Open Space Fund. So that, I'm sorry, this should be folded into um, what's now Article 7. This was the non. This was the open space part of um, the community preservation. I think we're also going to get something for the uh, cupola on the town hall. I know Malcolm is very. Uh, yeah. I think that's captivated by cupolas. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I have not heard back from the state yet whether or not our grant application for the lift um, was accepted. Um, and I will call. Um, if it's not, we then at the annual town meeting, we vote to release this money and use it for something else. Um, so that, you know, if people want to vote for the lift. Good luck with that. Uh, that's how that would work. Um, uh, we have been uh, the blessed recipient of a lot of free advice, uh, free legal advice in negotiating a long-term contract with Comcast for the provision of cable services. The figure provided for further work to actually get us through the actual negotiation is four thousand dollars, and Bob can speak to that more if he wants. But that's, that's that's for Bill. Yeah. That's, okay. That's yeah. that. I, I didn't know that he had given you a number, but yeah. I guess he gave you a number. Yeah. So a number that would be good to get would be to find out what he charged the other three towns for their contract seven years ago. But I don't know if they'll tell us that. Andy seven years ago, and this is the number he gave me, and said. Use this number. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. Um, do we have a town hall key? The front Al door key. The front door key. The yeah. Sure. I promise I'll return it. Well, I, I, um, I have a bunch of keys. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know which too, one it is. I already so. tried that. <laughs> That's the key. Um, this is my key. I'll come over and get it. All right. <laughs> um, okay. And I'll bring another one to, for you to lock up with then. Oh, thanks. All right, thanks. Thank you. We're in Buckley. We closed down the town open open email. We have to be there. Because we have Roy doesn't have a key. Roy, you don't have a key? Go ahead. Uh, um, <laughs> it's not the key, it's the lock. Um, uh, we were, Ron and I were out with Mass DOT at the North Poland Bridge. They're more than happy to start uh, designing and planning work on the 2023 replacement of the second bridge in from 116 on North Poland Road. But there are costs uh, that accrue to the town for title examination surveys and related work. Uh, so they estimated 10,000 would be enough for us to get that, uh, whatever we needed to get in fiscal year 2020, okay. uh, to get that done. Uh, we've got 1374, 38 for two bills for a prior year, one for reverse 911 disability, the other for ambulance. Oh yes, and then there's the new highway department maintenance facility, okay. which is. So you know, I got I got like less than five minutes before I got to go. Um, just a few comments. The Article Three dog leash law. I violate that twice a day, every day. There's no way I'm voting for something that criminalizes my own behavior. Um, 
Sorry. Well, well, I think you should recuse yourself then. <laughs> you know? It, 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 is in fact, it is in fact already. It already is a lot. Yeah. Oh, it already is. Yeah. Yes, yes. This just strengthens it and makes it more easy. Uh, uh, yes. uh, you know, this, this actually criminalizes, or not criminalizes, but it makes illegal the uh, stretching of stick, the throwing of frisbee, the swimming with your dog. All these types of things are illegal with, a, with an actual leash law. So I would change this well, to... Well, the to leash law is a state law, and it was adopted by yes. the town. So yeah. it's already, you're not changing that status at all. Yes. What the, we're doing This is in some way approves of it. I put, do not. Put, putting it under non-criminal disposition rather than the town clerk part of the bylaw. Yeah. Well, you, you can vote against it and, you know, remain a criminal. It's yes, okay. yes, yes. Thank so you. So the state law doesn't allow you to have your dog under control at your command. Correct. It, it, it has to be a... On a, leash. on a leash. A leash. If it's yes. not on your property. Yeah. If it's yeah. not on your property. Yeah. 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 So if it's on your property, it's okay. Yeah. Frisbee, you can walk whatever. your dog around your property without a problem. Yes, yes. Frisbee. Without a leash. Lots of frisbees. frisbees and, and balls. Yeah. And so but it means everybody that takes their dog down to the South River Meadow. The, the, this is why many communities have dog parks, um, which is a place set aside. Yes. Um, which is also a focus of lawsuits against the town because dogs bite each other and they bite the people that are there. And, yes, yes. Well, yes, I yes, have yes. not proposed it. Yes, yes. Just pointing out that it does exist. Um, so if you would like to make any recommendations on this tonight, that would be just um, great. Oh, and I will mention um, that the fire chief did request to be designated a strong chief and yeah. propose that that be part of the... Is, is there any way uh, that we could table that and have a discussion with him about why he wants to do that? And what, I mean, I, I, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, to, I'm at a loss to, like, why we would... We, we need to find out a little more than that because I don't know why we would make that change so, now. So can we invite him to, when, when there is a discussion about it, can we invite him to state his case and state his and, reason? And, and I, I will pass out the relevant um, section of the law that we would be adopting if we... Uh, if we did that. Mm -hmm. Right now, now, Tom had uh, indicated to me that a, a strong chief gets to hire and fire his own people rather than us um, appointing them. Uh, that's part yeah, of that. I, that strong I struggle chief. to see a benefit to the town in that. I, I don't see a benefit to the town in that. I, I would like to invite him to attempt to describe what a benefit to the town that would be. Or to do it in writing, just give us some kind of sense about why this is a good thing in his mind. I, it, it, you know, we've gone, we've gone umpteen years with it the way it is now, and I'm, I'm not sure why we would change it now. Yeah. Everything seems to be working fine, right? Yeah. You know, certainly if, if he wants to hire someone and recommends them to us, we're, we're, we're not, we're not going to vote against them unless there's something that really would, you know, indicate that they shouldn't be part of the fire department. So I, I don't know why we need that, but uh, we can have him in. Um, I, he, he's requesting it, that it be this part of this warrant. Tom? Um, he has requested it before, but he did specifically request it at this time. So it would be an additional article? Yeah, and it would be easy to add. Yeah, oh yeah. Do we want to have him in next week? Now we have, we have the, the, old, the old committee meeting next week, right? Yeah. So we, we want to have an earlier select board meeting. Right. So it can't be that long. All Maybe right. 5.30 for the select board meeting. The, the all committees meetings at 7.30, right? Is it 7.30? Or? I don't remember offhand. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. On the 18th. Okay. So on the 18th. Maybe 5 again. You think it'll take that long? Yeah. No, they, there, there could be, there could. Be, I mean, we're we're talking about the warrant. There could be. All right, let's let's make it fun. 
All right, so we won't do anything on that right now. We'll talk about it. Um, any other plan to anticipate 48 hours in advance? I have one thing. You do? Yes. Okay. Um, I would like to propose that we have a town holiday party on December 19th, which is a Thursday. December the 19th for a holiday party. Okay. Sounds like the right day. Yeah. Thursday the 19th of December. Okay. Before you make that official, could I just um, double check with the uh, school committee, what, what the school committee schedule is for th December, it's not in my phone. But it's probably okay. But I don't know. We have a habit of scheduling these parties on, uh, the, on the school committee day. Because everything, everything we schedule like is th on Thursdays. Yes, yeah. yes. And, um, but, but they start early and they go late. You don't have to... Yeah, no, last time I came over, there was hardly any pizza. There was like two no slices of cold left. pizza left, okay. and it was uh, Kenny on his way out the door. That was, the, that was what was left of the whole holiday party. No, you were still there, too. Um, <laughs> Eating a piece of cold pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll let you know tomorrow. All right. At the latest. All right. So if it's okay with Phil, it's okay with... Uh, yeah, that sounds you guys. Yeah, okay. That's fine. You have an update for me? Forgot to print it out. I do have an update. Okay. It's a lot of departmental news. Nothing from uh, absolutely nothing from committees right now. You get email with you, Phil. You have to go. I mean, yeah. You, yeah. You have 15 minutes to get to a meeting. Yep. Yep. Well, you the first one. You know. from my house to here. I tell you, you did. I, you I, did. Felt, I felt terrible. Kate? I felt terrible, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Thank you, Lise. See All right, you, Phil. Uh, take care. Thanks. Uh, regarding Conway's electricity aggregation initiative, we have heard from the company we selected, Colonial Power, that the nine to ten months expected for DPU review of our petition has turned into 11 to 12 months. Their, uh, re their reply, when recently asked for an update, was boilerplate. These dockets remain under active investigation by the department. However, consistent with department practice, we are unable to provide an estimate of when final orders will issue. Uh, that well, said, the, the, we're also uh, we're also preparing a, a uh, townwide mailing uh, with the survey as planned, and uh, uh, we're very close to being being able to send that out. So there's um, no indication that there's anything wrong with the orders that have been submitted for the approval of the aggregation for all 14 towns. Yeah, there's there's no indication of anything. So so who's doing the mailing? Uh, a combination of uh, staff and Adams Direct Mail in Greenfield. They'll be preparing it. We'll be driving it to the uh, is that post the, offices. Is that part of it? Is is that something? Oh, I see. Is that something that that we're doing on our own? Yeah, we had decided we to do the this postcards months and months ago. Many months ago. The we, survey. Okay, we so decided. we're we're doing it. We're paying for it. Yes, I see. This is just, uh, it's, it's, well, you want to? No, we voted on the language based upon the Sunderland survey. Uh, we, we prepared postcards that people can return to us. And, and ask a question on, on how much green we want, we want in the mix. Yeah. Yeah. Among uh, other things, yes. That's what they'll get. And then uh, this is the flyer that will go with the postcard. Well, a flyer too, huh? Okay. Okay. 
It's impossible so, to so, put enough information on the postcard. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we're taking the pulse. Yes, that's okay. what it is. In other news, um, as you heard earlier, the highway shed slab has been poured mm. and cured without incident so far. Uh, so it's ready for the building, which should be arriving within two weeks. Um, Ron seemed to say it's arriving Monday momentarily. Yeah. Well, that is within two weeks. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, you're this right. It's a conservative right. estimate here. <laughs> and, and, and he had estimated to me conservatively earlier. Uh, we also had uh, a potential issue uh, spotted around the well by the consultant uh, who does the wells for the grammar school, which I believe has been resolved uh, to everyone's satisfaction at this point. Uh, I have asked the Cannabis Control Commission for clarification on a process point in the license application of Roaring Glen Farms. The planning board has weighed in with recommended language as well. I anticipate that the owner's perspective will be supported and we can submit a form to the state with a positive answer that asks whether a marijuana establishment is allowed at their particular location. But there are site constraints and I want to be sure they are not relevant, which seems to be what the state guidance document says before getting the form submitted. It may take some time to get clarification from the Cannabis Control Commission as they met on Thursday and may be catching up with that business for a few days. Uh, okay. So what is what is the what is the basic problem here with this? The form and the guidance are unclear as to the question that's actually being asked. Um, I and the operation believe in good faith that the question is are um, are marijuana establishments allowed in your in Conway in, in, or basically in Massachusetts? But they use the phrase the particular location, and because of what's in our bylaws, it has to be five hundred feet away from anywhere where children congregate, and. Because the form, the form also says this does not include any special permitting that your town does. But it's not a condition of a special permit, it's a bylaw. So there's a, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that it's black and white and not gray before I send it in. Hmm. Okay. All right. uh, I got a noise complaint from a resident regarding what turned out to be an extensive logging operation near Lucart Road. I also heard from the state service forester that she had not gotten a cutting plan. The conservation commission was also involved, uh, and I gather that uh, they've discovered that since uh, it's only an intermittent stream that's involved that the Conservation Commission is not directly uh, concerned with the project. Uh, but because of the lack of a cutting plan, the state DEP is now involved. Um, they see no issue with the Conservation Commission, <coughs> uh, but they note that there may be endangered species issues that still should be addressed. I see. So the, there was a particular stream that the question was, is it considered intermittent or is it considered... That, you know, that was the Conservation uh, Commission uh, issue. Uh, right. And yeah. so, and, and the cutting is well over 100 feet from that stream, so being intermittent, then it's not a conservation issue at all. I, I hope I said that. Yeah, you did. Thank you. But. Um, the electrical work for Gary Leshevsky's home was completed and inspected, and with the invoice being presented at the estimate price, which is what the select board approved. I included payment for that invoice in this warrant. Uh, building work has also been reported accomplished. Okay, now we're, we're putting a lien on that property? Yeah, okay. uh, Jan, Jan is uh, responsible for that. Okay. Um, 
Ron and I will be meeting with FEMA and MEMA on November 22nd regarding the proposed Delabar Avenue project. Um, this is farther than we've gotten before with the project, so it's very welcome news. Mm. Actually coming out to look at it. Okay, well that's good. Uh, so progress on something that's been in the background for two oh, years now. A oh, while, wow. yeah. Okay, thank you. Tom. Uh, concerns of the selectmen. Do you have any concerns, Robert? No. No concerns. Okay, I don't have any concerns either. Mail. Uh, we really don't have any mail. Uh, announcements. Okay. Any any announcements? Nope. I don't have any announcements either. So our next meeting is scheduled for Monday the 18th at 5 p.m., correct? Yes. That's what we decided on? Okay. And that will include recommendations on all of the items and or, or, or non-recommendation. Sure. You, you don't have to make a recommendation on an item. All right, so, so where are we going to have that meeting? Is that going to be here? I think that should be here. Okay. Yeah. Before we go over yeah. there. Okay. Good. Okay. If there's no more business to come before the board, I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.